Hi everybody, it's Paris. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what I eat in a week as a college student. So last week I filmed all my meals and I tried to film my snacks too, like what I remembered, but of course this isn't like every single thing. But I tried to record the main things that I was eating throughout the week to just kind of give you guys like ideas of what I eat for meals and how I try to like attempt to stay healthy as a college student, cooking my own meals. And also I do eat a gluten-free diet. So everything that I show in this video is gluten-free in case you guys are also on a similar diet pattern. I only filmed Monday through Friday just because on the weekends I honestly don't tend to have the healthiest habits or the best you know schedule of eating and eating the best foods and everything. I'm sure you know you college kids can relate. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, enjoy seeing what I'm eating in case you just want to get some more ideas or I just love watching these videos from other people because I try to eat healthy and I like to cook and make my own meals so it's always fun to get ideas from other people. So for breakfast on Monday, I made a smoothie. You guys will see a lot of smoothies in this video. They're one of my favorite things to make for breakfast because I have a really sensitive stomach and don't like to eat a lot in the morning. So this is something light and easy that is still healthy and I can put a lot of good stuff into. And then for lunch, I know this looks kind of disgusting, but it's pretty good. I mashed up a can of tuna with half an avocado, put that on a rice cake with some pickles. Tastes good, but I know, again, it looks gross. I had a fiber bar for a little snack. And then for dinner, we made a charcuterie board for watching The Bachelor, all kinds of goodies on here. For breakfast on Tuesday, I had this gluten-free chocolate chip waffle and another smoothie that I made. And then for lunch, I just put some gluten-free chicken nuggets in the air fryer and had that with this dressing from Trader Joe's. I have class on Tuesdays and Thursdays during lunchtime, so I always just like to whip up something really quick that I can kind of just eat in class. And then while I was in another class that I had right after, I ate some pretzels and a sumo orange for a snack. These oranges are amazing, you guys, if you've never tried. Then for dinner, I made some stir fry. I basically just stir fried some chicken and broccoli and mushrooms in teriyaki sauce. Served that with some rice noodles. It was so, so, so good. Super easy. And then a little later for dessert, I had some of these chocolate covered berries from Trader Joe's. For breakfast on Wednesday, I made some oatmeal. I kind of go through phases where I like oatmeal and I don't, but today I was kind of feeling it, so I just cooked this Bob's Red Mill oatmeal with some frozen blueberries and I added PB2 powder. I like this better than peanut butter just because it's healthier, doesn't bother my stomach as much. And once again, the presentation was not on point, but it tastes good and it kept me full for so long. Um, and then at 3.30, I came home from the gym and I made a wrap for lunch. These tortillas are not my favorite, in case you guys are wondering, but you know, they do the job. And then I had leftover stir fry from the day before for dinner. Then later that night while I was doing homework, I snacked on some Swedish fish, not the healthiest, but they taste really good. For breakfast on Thursday, once again, I made a little smoothie and then I had one of these little veggie chocolate muffins that I found at Costco. They're frozen, you just heat them up and they're really good. You can't even tell that they have veggies in them. Then for lunch, I air fried one of these chili lime chicken burgers from Trader Joe's and I put half an avocado on top of that and some barbecue sauce. I ate that once again. Just between classes, tastes really good and again, keeps me full for a long time. Had another little granola bar during class and I wasn't super hungry at dinner time, but my roommate made some cornbread, so I just ate some of that. Not really a meal, but you know, you eat whatever feels right in the moment. For breakfast on Friday, I just had some grapes because once again, was not hungry, kind of wasn't feeling great. Then I went and got some Starbucks. This peach green tea lemonade is absolutely amazing. Then I had a wrap for lunch. Once again, pretty much the same exact stuff that I ate the other day. Then for dinner, I made one of these like microwavable tamales from Trader Joe's. And once again, put half an avocado on top. I love my avocado. Then later, we were watching a movie and I snacked on some of this Boom Chicka Pop popcorn, which is seriously So that's so all good. for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I ate last week. Maybe this gave you guys some ideas for yourself or, you know, like I said, if you're like me and you just like seeing what other people eat to get some inspiration. But with videos like this, I think it's important to point out that you should never compare your eating habits from one person to another. What works for me and what's enough food for me may not be what works for you. Um, just for so many different reasons because everyone's body and everyone's eating habits are so different So if you have anything negative to say, I really don't want to hear it But if you guys have any like tips or anything else that you'd like to make as college students or just people living on your own Definitely shoot them my way because I would love to have more inspiration and more ideas for what to eat Because I kind of tend to just eat the same things all the time and get really bored Thank you guys so much for watching this video Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already Follow me on Instagram, everything like that And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye